33 veterans are making their way on foot from Denver to Colorado Springs. It's all in an effort to raise awareness for veteran suicide prevention. We want to show you where those three men are on this map as it tracks them in real time. Uh, let's see, I can't exactly Baptist make out Road, where the maybe. Baptist Road, maybe yeah. east of I-25. Cardio 13's Andrea Herrera talked to them this afternoon as they made it to their halfway point in Larkspur. She's currently at Doghouse on the north side of Colorado Springs, where they will be celebrating tonight's journey. This is the destination for the three veterans that are walking all the way from Denver to Colorado Springs. They plan on getting here by six tonight. <laughs> Step by step, 105 miles on foot. Oh, that feels nice. That's 60 pounds less. These three men are walking to Colorado Springs. The whole point of this event is to raise money for suicide prevention for veterans. Michael Connors participates every year in the annual Ruck March for Veterans Suicide and Mental Health Awareness. Everyone's heard 22 veterans a day. The real number in our country right now is closer to 40, occurring, according to current statistics. Um, my personal mindset is one veteran suicide is too many. A veteran himself, Connor says this walk is difficult, but rewarding. We like to kind of keep that mentality because we want to show people like there's no quit. You have to keep pushing through because suicide's never the answer. He hopes the march will inspire other veterans to reach out for help. I mean, so for me personally, I have been medically retired from the Army since 2016. I spent 10 and a half years in the Army, um, deployed multiple times, and I've been to about 35 more funerals for suicide veterans than I have for combat veterans. Connors is also the owner and founder of a nonprofit which focuses on helping veterans by giving them a furry companion to help overcome their trauma. We've been providing service animals to veterans with PTSD, traumatic brain injuries, uh, mobility issues, amputations, um, seizure alert, anything that we can realistically do we're doing and there's people out there who just don't know that resources are available but this is our mental health push for those who would like to come out and celebrate with the three veterans you can do that by coming here to dog house they will be here in less than two hours reporting in colorado springs andrea herrera krdo 13.